What's up YouTubers? In today's video I'm going to do a part 2 on the Marlin 1.16.6 firmware for the CR10. And this firmware that I'm going to upload, so I'm going to upload the regular CR10 stock firmware that should work with 1.16 and I'm going to upload one for the CR10S and that's what I'm going to kind of talk about in this video. And also, I'll show you a spot if you're using the stock CR10 and it says you don't have enough space or you're like pushing the limits. I'll show you an area where you can comment it out and it'll save you about 3200 bits. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'll, this is the exact firmware that I'm going to upload for the CR10S that I'm working on. So we're going to go ahead and start in the configuration.h file and you're going to go down to line 122 and we're going to set up the motherboard. As you can see this motherboard is set to 89 which is the MELZ for the CR10. So we're going to go ahead and change that to 43 and I'll show you where. So if you go up here into boards so boards right here on line 47 it says the ramp 1.4 EFB that's what the CR10S is using and that's why I put 43 in that column. So to go back to configuration.h we're gonna go ahead and set up the filament sensor the runoff sensor so to do that we're gonna go down to 801 alright so at 801 right here define filament runout sensor this is if you have the sensor. We're going to go ahead and uncomment that. Change false to true logic. And we're not done yet. We're going to have to go to the advanced file. And we're going to go ahead and go down to 819 in the advance. 819. And so just make sure that this is uncommented and one last thing to get the filament runoff sensor to work we're gonna to have to go back into this little drop down and these are all the files that make your printer go and we're gonna go down to pins underscore ramps okay so pins underscore ramps right here click on that and we're gonna to go to line 206 and this is the fill up or filament runout sensor uh, pin the pin for it alright so stock has it at 4 we're gonna go ahead and change it to 2 that's how the CR10S has it set up so now that we set up the fill up, uh, filament runoff sensor let's go ahead and go back to the advanced so configuration advance and we're already here so in order to do change filament Again, this has to be uncommented. So if you're doing, if you have a regular CR10, uh, uncomment this and make sure that all the stock, I think it's set for direct extruder, uh, direct drive extruders. So make sure all these numbers right here, the 1040, 06, 640, match mine, and that'll be for your Bowden setup. Also keep in mind that you will not be able to see the uh, change filament unless you have your extruder heated to whatever it is ABS or PLA but you won't be able to see change filament until then and that will be under the prepared I think uh, I believe so yeah the prepare so make sure your extruder is heated up go into prepared and you should be able to see uh, change filament Alright, so let's go ahead and set up baby stepping. This is also in the advance, but it's at starts at 602. 602 right here. Define baby stepping. So we're going to go ahead and uncomment this. And we also need to uncomment 608. The double click for Z baby steps. Alright, so uncomment that and now you should be able to use baby steps and access that through the LCD and I think it's also the uh, 
uh, the G code. You can enter in G code for it as well. All right, so those are the three main things I wanted to show you guys, and this will actually be good to set up for the CR10S if you upgrade your board or if you're running a CR10S and you want to run Marlin 1.16. This is a good firmware for it. But I also want to show you also under the advanced tab is line 683. So we're almost there anyways. So 683. This is divine define arc support. We don't need this technically. Or we don't need it at all. So you can go ahead and comment this out and as it says right here, disable this feature to save 3200 bits. So that's a really good feature to save some room, especially if you're using the stock Melzi board. Now, there's probably other areas that you could save space. And if you know those areas, uh, shoot a comment down below and we'll have a discussion on it. And it helps out the community as well to know like certain areas where we can save space or certain areas or what else we can customize in the firmware too to make a better quality prints and all that kind of stuff so yeah if you have any questions also you can shoot down a question down in the uh, below and I'm pretty good about answering everyone's questions um, and I'll try to get to you in a, a timely fashion and yeah so and plus like if if anyone else stumbles on the question and they answer it before I do I mean that's what's great about this community we help each other out and yeah so let's see is there anything else nope okay so yeah I think this will conclude this video again I will leave the stock firmware for the CR10 down below and this firmware for the CR10S down below and if you guys again have any questions please uh, please ask in the comments and if you found this video helpful please give me a thumbs up it really helps the channel out and if you want to see more videos kind of like this on firmware and other review videos uh, please subscribe and thank you guys for watching